and you're gonna have your moderate and light weights ready for you. We will just be staying down on the ground. This is a reminder that if you're a little averse to the, um, being down on the ground, one, we're not gonna be getting up and down. We're just gonna be staying down. But we do have a chair-based routine as well. Uh, funny story about this routine is I literally just did the whole routine and thought I was filming it, and uh, turns out I wasn't. So this is round two for me. Uh, when you do these routines, you can totally pick it. You wanna do one, two, or three rounds of everything here. Um, the first set of exercises is going to be a dumbbell floor press, and then it's called a hollow hold. So I'm gonna show you what they'll look like. We're gonna do them, and we're gonna do them together. So this is the dumbbell press, where we're just having our moderate weight in each hand, and we're going down, pressing up, and bringing them together. Uh, I do wanna show you, this is the shoulder position I want you to be in, right here at the bottom. I don't want us to have our elbows up high like that. Um, that's not as safe of a position. The hollow hold is gonna be legs are out. That's one option. The higher you go, the easier it's gonna be. You can also put your arms out and that's gonna make it a little bit harder as well. So it's gonna be 10 reps for the floor press with our moderate weight. And it's going to be a 10 second uh, hollow hold. If you do this for a second or third time and you wanna go a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, that's totally uh, up to you. But here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So what we're gonna do is just put these weights at our side, and you're gonna decide if you want to use just your legs or your arms and your legs. So I'm gonna put that out, and you're gonna go ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're fighting hard on that when we keep our low back on the ground the whole time. So we don't want our low back to come off the ground. So that is the hollow hold. This is going to be paired with, or that was actually by itself, sorry, the dumbbell press and then the hollow hold. You can either do a second or a third round. When you're ready, we're gonna go to our next round of exercises. So we have the seated overhead press and then the dead bug hold. So the seated overhead press, I'm gonna let you pick. If you want to use your lighter weights, or if you wanna to continue to use your moderate weights, either option is fine. Um, this is the seated overhead press. Again, this is just a reminder that you can do this uh, from a chair position or from a bench or a box position. You can do this on your couch as well. If any of that bothers your shoulder, just hold one weight and press out like that, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of those. You're going to then slide that. We're gonna push our knees into our hands like this, and our hands into our knees like that. And we're gonna crunch up a little bit, and we're gonna keep that ISO hold right there, and that's gonna work our core. That's the dead bug ISO hold. So it's gonna be 10 reps, and then uh, 10 other reps, or 10 seconds again, just like the hollow hold. You can increase the time, but you can decrease the time. That's entirely up to you. All right, here we go. Full breath press. I'm gonna call this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great work. So we're gonna go lie on our back. We do that ISO hold. Here we go. I'm gonna start in three, two, one. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Those are our two exercises that are paired together. These are our B1 and our B2 exercises. Go ahead and run through this again if you'd like. You can always do one round, that's fine. You can do two or you can do three. When you're ready, we're gonna move on to the next round of exercises. And for this, I do want you to use your lighter weights. The first exercise is going to be no weight, just your own body weight. It's gonna be a hip bridge and then a skull crusher. So we're going to do 10 hip bridge, just like this. It's just lifting your hips up off the ground. 
And then once you get down to 10, have your light weights handy. And we're just gonna keep this position and we're going down until we hit 90 degrees and then straight up. So it's gonna be 10 and 10. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Grab those weights, and we're gonna do our skull crackers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So those are your ten. You can rest 60 to 90 seconds. Make sure you get some water if you need it. And then we are going to be wrapping up with our bonus section. So our bonus section, we're going to do a, it's, it's a side plank position hip bridge. That's a, it's a mouthful. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna be on our side like this. Um, this is just a reminder that, again, this is a bonus. This one is a, a little bit challenging. It might be challenging on, on this part of your knee. So if you wanna put a mat or pad down right there, or pillow if you're training at home, that's probably a good idea. So I have my legs bent and in like this, so I'm in like that, and I'm going to keep this bottom leg down, but I'm going to bridge up, push my hips forward just like that, okay? So it's going to be five, and then we're gonna switch over to do five on the other side, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, all right. So now we're gonna rotate it on over to the other side. Take your time. I realized I didn't even show you what the second one was gonna be with this. I did it the first time and I forgot to film. All right, so we're gonna be going up like this. Okay, so one, two, three. The, the second round of exercises that we're gonna do, we're going to straighten our legs out. You can, if you want, you can uh, put a weight right here to make it a little bit more challenging, that's up to you. Uh, I was just saying, oh, these are muscles that I definitely neglect, so I guess a lot of people might neglect them as well. But we're gonna lift straight up like this, and we're gonna do 10 reps, okay? So this is gonna work, and you're gonna feel that in the side of your butt right there. And again, your choice if you want to wait. So it's one, but if you do use a weight, let's use that um, later on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so just going to break dance my way on over to the other side. And we're going to do over here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So your choice on this bonus section, you could do um, an additional one set of each of these, or you could do two more sets. Either way, great work today, and I'll see you for the next one.